Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Brenda, if you are new, and welcome to another video. So on my channel, I like to talk about all things that smell good. And some things I may come across that doesn't, but it's rare that I'm going to feature it on my channel if it doesn't smell good. So that could range from perfumes, fragrances, candles, <laughs> um, perfume oils, body care, fragrance mist. I've done all of that on this channel and that is what I will continue to do. So if that is something that you are interested in, keep watching. Please consider subscribing, only if you like it, no pressure. Um, but I want to start off by saying Happy New Year to everyone. I know, I know, I know that I am late. It is January 5th. But y'all, I have been trying to get a video in. And I honestly, I just haven't been in the mood to sit down and decide what I'm going to do. So I finally, finally had some free time on today and I said, and I feel like it. Um, so I said, let's get it done. Let's get it done. So here we are. And so my first video of the year would be my favorite, um, how could I say, what can I say? Um, my favorite Arabian fragrances that I've purchased in 2023. Okay, I have not, um, no, I, I take that back. I've, I've purchased one, but we're not going to talk about, we're not going to talk about anything in 2024. We're going to talk about um, 2023 purchases, favorite discoveries, ranking them, um, just favorites of 2023 in the next couple of videos and today is going to be Arabian fragrances. So you all know from um, previous videos that I have done a lot, a lot, a lot <laughs> of Arabian fragrances. They are just so, so good and I am loving loving them. And so today, though, this video is about my favorite ones. And looking over the collection, I think, I think I may have about or at least 25, if not more, Arabian fragrances. So I have over here my top six my favorite hands down the ones I want to reach for all of the time but I will wear other ones so let's start off with this one right here and this is um, from Swiss Arabian and it is washed yeah I featured this some time ago. It's been some months now, y'all, and I think it has gotten so much better. So this is Swiss Arabian. This has notes of um, Turkish rose, patchouli. Y'all know I'm loving patchouli. Anything woodsy, kind of earthy, kind of have, it's a deepness to it. It is solid and it is just good and y'all know I love musk and it has some amber in here this is yes if you all have not tried anything from Swiss Arabian I know we have the Casablanca we have um, the what's the one in the um, the gold bottle oud um, I can't think of the name of it now but you all know the one I'm talking about um, Okay, maybe it'll come back, maybe not. We're not gonna waste a lot of time. I know those are really popular, but this right here is really good. And those are good too, but this right here 
This is so, so good. It lasts forever. No need to reapply. Yes, I am an oversprayer and I am going to spray it. But that's because I like it and I want it to last. And then the bottle is just stunning as most of these Arabian bottles are. But this, you all, if you have not tried it, I want to just if I don't if if you all don't try anything else that I have tr that I have on this list y'all this one it is so good and it's almost like I forget about her but she is I wore her the other day I went into work for a couple of hours and I wore her and yes the sillage mm, yes it is there it is this right here this is so good and once again it is washed from Swiss Arabian the next on the list you all know that this is my baby <laughs> this is my baby velvet golds from Orentica <laughs> yes the bottle it may look a little gaudy it might look you know whatever whatever but it's good you all know that this is a dupe of gentle fluidity gold from um, MFK and it is so good with it's got some pink pepper in here it's got some caramel in here it's got some patchouli in here it's got some rose it's got some musk and it's got some vanilla so I get it now like now I see how the ladies would say I heard the notes and I knew that I would just love it because anything with musk vanilla patchouli some rose I love those notes and I'm gonna try it this is so good it's a little powdery but that's okay um it is so good it is so good you've heard me talk about it so much and that is why it is in my favorites Arabian fragrances this is so good and once again this is velvet gold from Orentica and I'm thinking it's under Mason Alhambra if I'm not mistaken so velvet gold next on the list I've talked about this one this is Baroque Satin Oud this yes this is another favorite wonder this is a this is powdery as well and I am loving I'm starting to realize that you know if it's it's not like old lady powdery it is not like that I used to like mm -mm, I don't want anything powdery and I don't even know why it's just it just doesn't sound right and, and when I think about it you know uh, I hope I don't offend anybody but you know like I said it's not old lady powdery this is good powdery this is so good it has notes of pear it has notes of jasmine cedar wood and musk and two grows and it is so I'm gonna have to take top of this oh yes mm-hmm oh this is so good I love it I love it this I have to work tonight this just may be my scent of the night I love this it is so good oh my goodness it is so good and you all know this is a it is said to be a dupe for um Oud Set and Mood from MFK so good and if it smells like this now I have not um smelt that you all know that I did some um, samples of a couple of MFK's fragrances, but I didn't get that one. But that's going to be next on the list. This is so good. I love it so much. Um, this is Baroque Satin Oud. And this is another one from Mason Alhambra. And it is so good. That's why it made this list. All right, and the next one is one that just went viral. It was all over everything, TikTok, um, YouTube, uh, and I want to say Instagram as well. You all know it. A lot of you love it. So do I. This is Nebras or Nebras from La Taffa. 
You all know that this is said to be a dupe for Eilish by Billie Eilish. This is vanilla. This is, it's got some red berries at the top. It's got coke cocoa or cacao it's got some rose it's got some tonka bean and it's got musk and amber this yeah this smells so good this is good this definitely could be an everyday scent it is so good i think that this is perfect weather for it it's cool oh it smells so good it is so good. I love it. This is a compliment getter. This is just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And it's no wonder that a lot of people love it. And it is, they, a lot of people say, I love both of them. I love Eilish and I love this one as well. But um, some people prefer this one over the Eilish. It's just whatever your preference is. I love both of them and I'm glad to have this in my collection. And that is why it is in this category. So the next one is called, hmm, is this fading on here? I don't know, but it's Mocha Woods. But look at that, y'all. You could barely see the name on here. But it's Mocha Woods. And I have not looked at it, but you all can tell that I've been wearing it. I've been wearing it. And I just got this a couple of months ago. But I don't know. I'm going to have to watch this. Okay. Anyway, we won't spend too much time on the label. And not that I want my label fading where I can't see what it says. But this is Mocha Woods. This has notes of coffee, saffron, ylang ylang, a patchouli. Here it is again. I love woods, woody, musky, vanilla. I love those scents. Goyak wood. It's got some oud in here. And this is said to be a dupe of Mancera's Roses Vanille. And I love it. And yeah, that was the first thing it reminded me of. I had a sample of it. And yeah, mm -hmm. this is so good. Yes, indeed. This is so good. And I am loving it. But I am not loving that. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, we all know everything can't be perfect on these bottles. They make them, you know, like, and yeah. But anyway, regardless of what my label looks like, this is a beautiful, beautiful scent, and I love it so, so much. And that is, once again, Mocha Woods from Fragrance World. This one is from Fragrance, Wood, Fragrance World, and this is a 100ml bottle, and you all know that I get just about all of these off of Amazon, and they don't disappoint. So, I love Mocha Woods. Have you all tried any of these here lately? I know when I featured them in the video, I mean, a lot of people may not comment, but let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these because they are, they are bomb. They are bomb.com. They are bomb diggity. They are the, they are mm, top tier in my opinion. And so the next one that I have is Nashit. Now I know I get it because sometimes like, you know, okay. I'm looking at some of my perfumes now and I'm looking like, girl, you forgot about me. Girl, you forgot about me. But this is the ones 2023. So, um, yeah, these are favorites of 2023. This is Nashit. This is to be said to be a dupe for Ani. You all know that I did Ani. I got a sample of it and it smells to me just like it. 95 percent you know I don't know about one-to-one -one because some people really really some of you all really 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 know your um, fragrances and I am just learning but to my nose it smells just like it you know I love it I just did a video of when what I wore to work and this was in it and I was smelling myself all day it is just so long-lasting so 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 good 
it has notes of you know nutmeg and sandalwood and that cashmere and y'all know that that is can be a little bit spicy a little bit you know woodsy a little bit musky not woodsy a little bit powdery musky and a spicy so and i told you all that i think i prefer um spiciness the nutmeg over cinnamon um i don't know because you all know you all know that i don't have um which one is it oh my goodness ah it is by Latafa in the square bottle because you all know that I can't really get with that. I know it's a favorite and um, oh my goodness. But anyway, I do that and I hate when that happens. Um, but yeah, so back to Nasheed. So um, I love the nutmeg in here. It's not as spicy to me as cinnamon is not as strong it's a little more subtle to me and so that's why i prefer the nutmeg over the cinnamon but this is such a banger y'all this is such a banger i'm so glad that i have it and yeah that is nasheet by latafa so that is it those are my six favorite uh, perfumes Arabian perfumes uh, from 2023 and let me know what yours were um, I know there were a lot of them going around they are so popular now and um, we all love them we all love them we enjoy them we love them um, number one I think what really pulls at us is that price tag on them. They are very inexpensive and yeah, we like saving money over here. You know, it's not to say um, anything about the expensive ones because we'll buy those too. But these Arabian ones, yeah, they're just, they're just good in my opinion. And I love the fact that you can get like, I'm thinking like this right here is like a, 1.7 or 2 ounce or something like that. I don't think it's 3.4, but at the same time, um, they are, you get a good amount of juice for a fraction of the cost, you know, from some of the designers and all of that. So we like that. And for that reason, we will purchase them. I know I will. So, um, yeah so that is my video of the day thank you so much for watching i appreciate you so 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 much um let's get to talking in the comment section please consider once again subscribing sharing the videos that you all do um like i said before when i look at my um, analytics and i see that people share the videos that just like thank you thank you so much and so to all of my new subscribers god bless you thank you i love having you here um yeah so that's that's the video thank you for watching i love you god bless you and i pray that you have a prosperous and wonderful wonderful new year until the next one god bless you bye for now